Tectonic Shift Shaping the Future with Innovation Hi, welcome to Tectonic Shift. In this episode, I will show you how you can pass runtime parameters to a pipeline. But before getting into it, I will give you a brief intro of runtime parameters. Runtime parameters let you have more control over what values can be passed to a pipeline. With runtime parameters, you can supply different values to scripts, tasks at runtime, control parameter types, allowed ranges and default. Dynamically select the jobs and stages with template expressions like which job to run, which stage to run. Parameters are expanded just before the pipeline runs so that the values surrounded by this particular expression are replaced with the parameter values. This is all from the intro. Now let's just dive into our YAML script where I will show you how we can pass the parameters to the pipeline. Now in the YAML file, I will type parameters, give it a name, let's say dev team name. Now I will add a friendly display name. Uh, let's type dev team name again. Hit enter. Now I will add the type of parameter. In my case, it is string. Now, as you can see, by adding this, we would have this type of pipeline run section available to us, where dev team name is available and a value section is there, where we can add some name to the dev team. Now, I shall add another parameter, give it a name, dash name. Uh, let's type the name this time QA team name hit enter uh, let's give it a display name um, again type QA team name and now again add a type to it let's say string now the thing that I will do here is add a default value to it uh, which is an empty white space now after adding this you will see the QA team has been added to the run menu but the point to note here is that the QA team name already has a value the value is the empty white space which we added in default and you can also see that the required is not mentioned with the QA team name as it is mentioned with the dev team name this is how you can set a default value to the parameter next i will add another type of parameters which are radio buttons let's add parameters again give it a name mm, let's say image now add a display name to it mm, full image now i will add values to it values uh, we have windows dash latest ubuntu dash latest and mac os dash latest these are the pool images that we will be using for our agent pool in the pipeline run menu this is how it will look like where you will be able to select any of the given image with a radio button next I will demonstrate how to create a boolean parameter. To begin, provide it with a name. Let's call it test. 
include a friendly display name such as run tests now for the type add boolean and now add default value to false this is how in the pipeline run menu it will look like from where you can enable or disable the test option before running the pipeline let's start by adding jobs create a job let's give it a name say parameters now what i will do is i will define agent pool for that i will use the earlier defined image parameter in the agent pool and this is how it is used what this will do is during the pipeline run when we specify the that particular image it will use that image for this job next to show all these values that are being passed as a parameters to the pipeline i shall create a power shell script and show these values at the terminal first we will begin by displaying the name of the dev team just copy the parameter syntax and replace it with the proper parameter name next we will display the qa team name replace it with the correct parameter and now we will display the vm name or vm image name that was selected during the pipeline run and in the last we will display the test value whether it was true or false let me just edit this right host commands now save your changes click on run select the pool image run test yes add a dev team name let's say development and now add a qa team quality assurance and select run now you can see we have a job name parameters and it's under execution now let us just select these parameters and wait for the execution to get completed as you can see the execution of the pipeline has been started and it's completing the task that has been assigned it would get completed in a short while and it's done now as you can see that the image that this pipeline used is ubuntu latest that we assigned to it and in the powershell script you can see the values of the parameter that we have given to it like dev team name is development qa team name is quality assurance and run test is true well that's all from this video today i hope you like it please like and subscribe to our channel